Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So our today's topic is interconversion of wedge dash and Fisher projection formula that is conversion of wedge dash formula to Fisher projection formula and Fisher projection formula back to wedge dash formula. So now let us first try to understand how to do this conversion in a molecule having one chiral center as you can see here this is the wedge dash formula so if you look at this wedge dash formula from this bird's perspective you would find that the iodine atom or imagine iodine atom as its head and it would be on the top and the bromine atom which is again in the plane of the paper would be at the bottom this chlorine atom which is coming out of the plane of the paper but according to this bird's perspective it will be its, its left hand so it will be coming at the left and fluorine which is going away from us or into the plane of the paper will be coming at the right. So this is nothing but the Fisher projection formula for this same wedge dash structure. Now how to convert this Fisher projection formula to wedge dash formula. So if we look at this structure from the top, we know that the groups on the horizontal bonds are the groups pointing towards you or are coming out of the plane of the paper as it is shown here. And the groups on the vertical are the groups which are going into the plane of the paper or are going away from us. Now the question is, that how to confirm whether the interconversion that we have done is correct or not. So the best way to find out whether the interconversion done is correct or not is to find out the RS configuration which we know already. So find out the RS configuration for the initial structure that is the wedge dash structure. Here the configuration is S and after you have done completed conversion of the structure you can again find out the RS nomenclature and if the configuration is same as you can see here it is S configuration again after conversion it means that you have done your interconversion correctly. Now let us see what would be the interconversion if we look from this side. As you can see in this image if we again look from this elephant's perspective you would find that now this chlorine atom and this fluorine, these two groups are mo moving away from this elephant as you can see here. Chlorine atom would be at the top, fluorine would be at the bottom, iodine you can imagine as its left hand as you can see here and bromine atom would be on the right. So this is the structure or Fisher projection formula of this same wedge dash structure from a different perspective. And again, if you convert this Fisher projection formula back to wedge dash formula, as you can see here, the horizontal bonds are coming towards you, vertical bonds going away from you. And again, if you find out the RS for this structure, you would find that the configuration again is S configuration. Now we have learned that how to find interconvert a molecule having one chiral center from wedge dash to Fisher projection formula and Fisher projection formula back to wedge dash formula. But now let us see how to find out the how to do the interconversion in molecule having more than one chiral center. So the molecule that you can see over here is D-glucose that is the Fisher projection formula of glucose molecule. Here you can see that there are four chiral centers. So this Fisher projection formula, if we convert into wedge dash structure as we have done before, you can see that the bonds on the vertical are the groups going away from you and the remaining bonds which are on the horizontal are the groups coming towards you. So now if I want to convert this wedge dash formula into a typical zigzag bond line formula, how do we do that? So if you turn this molecule to the right and then if you try to view, you would find that 
the aldehydic group will be at the bottom and if you turn or rotate this molecule you would find that OH which is out of the plane of the paper or the groups on the right that is are coming out of the plane of the paper after we rotate these all the groups which are on the right will go away from us and this groups on the left will remain out of the plane of the paper. So now let us try to write down in this structure. So first is the aldehydic carbon. Next is this second, third, fourth and fifth. These are the four carbons which are chiral. So all the groups on the right that is OH, H, OH and H would be moving away from us as you can see here on the dash bond. OH, H, OH and H. Accordingly, the groups which are on the left will be on the wedge bond as you can see here. H, OH, H and OH. H, OH, H and H. <clears throat> now, if you convert this into a proper zigzag formula, the groups which will go bottom, which will be for going to the bottom would be having a different configuration. The second carbon as you can see here hydrogen is on the wedge and hydroxyl is on the dash bond. It will remain the same. But this third carbon as you can see if we bring down what would happen is it's the groups of this carbon would interchange its position that is hydrogen which was on the dash bond would come on the wedge and OH or hydroxyl which was on the wedge bond would come on the dash bond as you can see here. Hydrogen and OH have interchanged its position. Similarly, like second carbon, the fourth carbon would remain the same. But the fifth carbon again since we are bringing it lower in position, its groups will also interchange its position. So hydrogen on the wedge would come on the dash bond and hydroxyl which was on the dash bond would come on the wedge bond. So this is the way by which you can convert the Fisher projection formula of this glucose molecule which has four chiral carbons into bond line formula that is the wedge dash structure in a bond line formula. So how to convert this bond line formula to Fisher? You do the reverse way. You bring this third carbon and fifth carbon in the same line as you can see here and then from this again you can draw this structure and then you can finally draw this Fisher projection formula. So to convert this wedge dash to Fisher you have to follow the reverse process. So again now how to confirm whether you have done the interconversion properly or not. Again you can cross check by finding out the RS nomenclature. So find out the RS nomenclature in the initial structure and the final interconvert or converted structure. You can see at the second, third, fourth and fifth the absolute configuration is R, S, R and R. Here also in the final structure you can see that it is R, S, R and R. So our conversion is correct. So here we come to the end of today's video. In further video we will see some more interconversions. Thank you so much. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.